Northampton Middle and Elementary School, it's that wonderful time again where every four years we hold an election to decide who will be President of the United States of America. It's been a long process, and there's been much said by all the people that have taken a swing at becoming President. Now it's time to get down to the nitty-gritty and send people to vote. A quick review of how the election process works. It started back in January when Iowa held the first in the nation caucuses. From there, each state held either a primary or caucus determined to determine who wanted to be the name nominee uh, from each major party. Then we had conventions. The Republicans had their convention in Cleveland. The Democrats had their convention in Philadelphia to make it official. Then, since then, candidates have been crisscrossing the nation trying to convince voters to vote for them. You may have seen them on the TV. You may have seen them in real life. I don't know. They've been all over the place. According to the Constitution, you must be 18 years old to officially vote. However, we know that the young people of this country want to have their voice heard too. So enter the Iowa Youth Straw Poll. Yes, today you, you will have your voice heard a week in advance of the general election, uh, in which uh, the election is held on the first Tuesday following the first Monday of November. Don't ask me the details, it has something to do with the harvest season. But in order to make sure that you are informed and educated voters, we have put together a short clip to share some information. Take it away, 8th graders. On the Republican side is Donald Trump and his running mate, Mike Pence. In 1971, he was given the ownership of the company called Elizabeth Trump & Son, which he later renamed Trump Organization. His first problem to fix will be the economy and jobs. He will make it easier to get a job, invest, build, grow, produce, and manufacture in America. Donald Trump wants clean air and safe drinking water, regardless of race or income. Donald Trump believes that every child deserves a good education to achieve their dreams and respect others. He also hopes to fix guns, foreign policy, and others. He plans to build a wall between the U.S. and Mexico to stop illegal immigration. Hillary Clinton is running for the Democratic Party. Hillary Clinton is the wife of the former president, Bill Clinton. She was a former senator from New York and a former secretary of state. She wants every child from every town to have a college education, and she wants to make colleges affordable for everybody. She is also into environmental things. Like stopping people from drilling in the Arctic. It's harmful to the environment and creates global warming that melts the ice and raises water level. Also with global warming, she will make powerful investments to stop it. Hillary also says we need to raise pay, create good paying jobs, and build an economy that works for everyone. To do this, Hillary wants to raise the minimum wage and invest in the infrastructure, clean energy, and education. In order to invest in our infrastructure, she will harden defenses at home and is going to work with our allies to defeat ISIS. Some of the third party candidates are the Iowa Green Party and the Legal Marijuana Party. Right now, the third party candidates are the most looked up thing on Google. The Iowa Green Party is wants more clear energy like solar, wind, and ethanol, and they're against racism. This party is supported by Jill Stein and Ajahn Mu Barak. Uh, Jill wants to create millions of jobs by transitioning to 100% clean renewable energy by 2030. She wants to protect the rights of our future generation. Jill, I. I Do you guys think that we don't have any good presidential candidates? No? Well, that's okay, because on the ballot, there's a line for a write-in option. It's true. On the bottom of each section of each ballot, there's a line where you can write who you want for president or that office. In 1940, Franklin D. Roosevelt won presidential primary polling in New Jersey for the Democratic side as a write-in. 
You don't have to have your name on the ballot to win, but it's very uncommon to win fair writing. The FDR win is the exception to the rule. There are five states that won't allow write-ins on a voting ballot. These states are Hawaii, Nevada, South Dakota, Oklahoma, and South Carolina, but Iowa does allow it. Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck are the most commonly used names for write-ins. Remember, though, use the write-ins with responsibility. All right, now it's your turn to go out and go vote. So check in with your teacher. We either have a paper ballot or we have a uh, Google form in which uh, you can do your voting. Hey, enjoy it and then wear your stickers loud and proud.